Okay, peace. It's me, Rhett. Uh, this, I'm gonna show you how to use this camera from what I know. This is the, uh, the FLIR T1030SC, super awesome camera. I've been playing with it for a couple weeks. Let's go ahead and turn it on. There's a power button right here. While that's booting up, I'm gonna show you some things. So the first is um, this, actually, let me move this chair. Okay, so this handle right here, you can grab this and rotate the whole screen up so that you can see stuff. See, isn't that nice? Look at that. Okay, so there's the screen, it's booting up. Uh, over here is the very important laser pointer, which I don't really need. This is a programmable button. This is the focus. Uh, what do we have over here? I can't rotate it all, I can rotate it all around this way. Um, there's a visible, this is the infrared camera, that's me. Hey, what's up, Uh And then there's some, uh, a visible light camera with some focusing stuff over there too. That's the light, the laser pointer. Um, this right here is the photo button and this is the digital zoom. And this is just an adjustment for the eyepiece. Okay, so let's see if it's booted up. Okay, it's ready. Okay, so can you see that well enough? Let's see, that's better. Okay, so um, let's see where to start. You wanna take a picture. That's the first thing you wanna do. So to do that, you need an SD card. SD card goes right there. Uh, this is a USB port so you can connect to the computer. I don't know how to use that. This one was useful. This is an HDMI port so you can plug into it to monitor. If you wanna take pictures of yourself or something like that, you can't see the screen, you can plug it into monitor. That worked out really well. This is a power, a power port right there. So you can, you don't have to, and there's a battery right there. Okay, I'll leave this like that. Okay, so I wanna take a picture. Uh, the first thing I'm gonna do, one way to do it is to turn, go to the menu right down here, there's three dots, you can push that, and then you can go to camera, and you can go to the record mode. So that would be a single shot right there. Now I click over there, I can just uh, focus it. It looks like it's pretty much in focus. There is an autofocus, I usually use the manual focus, and take a picture. And there you go, picture taken. And it shows the, I took a I took the visible and the infrared picture, it took both of those together. Uh, if you wanna look at them, you can go here to the play button and that shows you your, your pictures, okay? But, uh, and then you can click that again and go back. Now what if I wanna take a movie? Well, I click the double dots, I go to the recording mode and change it to video and now I do this. Now the first thing is that uh, you will notice the, I'm not recording right now. You will notice that, um, this is an in focus, there you go. Uh, you will notice that it's not a movie format, it's a FLIR format. Uh, you can change that in the settings. So let's just go ahead and do that. How do you change the settings? Uh, let's go right here to uh, settings right here. Connections, this has uh, your Bluetooth and Wi-Fi, which I couldn't figure out how to do. Uh, then we have the temperature range. This is very useful. If you wanna do hotter or colder things, you need to change that. And actually, I just realized I recorded something and that was in the wrong setting. So there's also a little joystick up here. You can move down if the screen doesn't reply and push in to select it. See the joystick right there. Okay, right here. This button switches between the screen and the eye piece up here. Um, yeah, and there's a back button up there too. Okay, so save and storage options. This half press makes it autofocus. Um, let's see, image resolution normal. If you, there's one, you can take a picture that's higher resolution, uh, but it takes longer to take. Uh, so I don't have that. Here's the, the video compression. So right there, you would want it as an MPEG and then you could get the files right off the card and you can play them. If you include the CSQ file, then it will give you a, you'll need a program to edit it, but you can adjust the parameters of things in the video. So that's pretty nice. I wouldn't do that way. Um, okay, back. Photo as a separate JPEG. I have that digital camera on or off. You can take that off, digital, delete all files. Okay, return. Let's go back, what's device settings? Um, anything important here? I can't go over everything, because one, I don't know everything. And two, I don't want this to be forever. Okay, so well, uh, that was how to switch it to modes. Let's just go through the other menu items here. 
so this right here, uh, this whole panel is to adjust the measurement properties. So if I want to get a temperature measurement, then we need to know things like how far away is the object, what's the humidity, what's the emissivity, uh, all those things can be adjusted right there. If you're just taking pictures, it doesn't matter. You can always, I think you can adjust that stuff later. Uh, this does, oh, that's for picture in picture. So if I go over here to this single shot and then go right here, then I can change this to different modes. I could do just the digital camera, boring. Who would ever want to do that? And then I, this one's kind of cool. This is the picture in picture. So it has the, uh, the infrared video, you can see it's much lower resolution than the digital camera. And you know, the, it's a digital camera, it's not your phone. Your phone's gonna be much better. This is just plain thermal, highly recommend. That's what you should be in. This is a mixture of the digital and the thermal. So what it does is it uses the digital camera to get an outline of stuff. And you can adjust these parameters, but you see the little outline. The, the, high, the resolution is so high, you never need that. So stay right there. This is a temperature measurement, so I can turn on a spot right there, and then I can actually move that around and measure the temperature of my air conditioning vent. Okay, right there. Isn't that cool? I can digitally zoom in if I want to and get a little bit better reading. Oops, I missed. Okay, so let's just spot. Turn it on, turn it off, turn it on again. Okay, now we can move it over there and you get the temperature. Oh, that looks good, I like that. Air conditioner working. Um, okay, let's zoom back out. And then you can do other types of uh, spot measurements. Um, I can say, where is the hottest spot in my box? That's kind of cool. Where is the coldest? And then you can do predefined functions there too. Next, this is the color palette. Uh, I'm on iron, which is my favorite. But if you want to change to other things, that's kind of cool. To white, the, the grayscale. You can always change these if you save your files and edit them in one of the FLIR software things like FLIR Research. Studio, you can edit those, uh, the color palettes. Uh, and then the settings, so I think we did that already. Okay, so what else do you need to know how to do? This is another really important thing. So let's say, let's go back to, okay, let's program a button because this is the first thing I did. Settings, uh, camera connection, no, not connections. Oh, I remember now. Okay, so if I wanna program this button right here, this P button, this is P1, if I hold that down, then I can switch to different options for what that button does. I really like this switch between single shot and video. So I can take a picture, push that, switch to video mode, and go back and forth. I don't want that spot on, it's bothering me. So I can go over here, off. Okay. So what was, oh, now I was gonna, that's gonna show you what to do. One of the things that you're gonna notice, and this is really important about video, digital cam, thermal cameras in general, oh, there's your battery meter right there, um, is so I have dark blue, dark purple is the coldest, and yellow is the hottest. And this scale goes from 54, I'm in Fahrenheit, you can change that to Celsius, I'm in 54 to 78. Now, I may not want to see anything higher than 70 degrees, and I can change that. So if I, if I do this, let's see, I think you can click this to the side. No. Okay, I go over here, and then I go to temperature. Where did it go? Thumbs right there. No. Settings. No, not that. Where did I do that? Maybe it's in the picture mode? I can't remember. I thought I did. Click right there. There's a person. I feel dumb now. Um, where do you do? Oh, ha ha! There it is. I remember. It's a button right here. So this button right here on the camera. This button right there is a, the light. This button right here. Push that. And now I can change the top and the lower temperature. I clicked on the top. And now I'm going to reduce that to 70. So now anything over 70 is yellow. So it's pretty hot outside, so that was a bad idea. So I'm gonna raise that back up to 80, 
83. So anything over 84 now is yellow. So I've changed the color palette. Now, if I go down here, maybe I don't really care that those are super cold. I'm gonna raise this up. And you'll see now that I'm not showing anything lower than 65 is just the darkest it can be. But you notice I can see more detail by changing that window. If you try to incorporate every single color in your thermal image, then you're not gonna be able to see everything that you wanna see. By doing this, you can notice I see more pictures of the, uh, the joists in the ceiling. Uh, I see other cool things. If a person walks by, you know, people are much hotter than uh, 84. So having the temperature go all the way down to 55 doesn't really, it limits how much detail you can see in that person. So you definitely wanna change that if you wanna see something cool. Now, uh, you can edit this in FLIR Research Studio. So if you get it wrong, you can fix that. Okay, let's see, what else do we want to look at here? Hmm. Let's see if there's anything else I need. Uh, I can go return, I can turn that off, and, and it goes back to automatic. And then in this mode, it takes the highest temperature and the coldest temperature. So if I stick my hand in front, it won't be in focus. So now you notice that the background changed color because it's trying to incorporate both my hand and the background. So it'll do that automatically. It just does what it thinks is best, but it doesn't always know that. So let's actually focus on my hand. Oops, sorry. I didn't bump you, I bumped the camera. Okay, so there, I don't really care about that really dark spot in the back. I wanna see my hand better. So I'm gonna click this. And see, by making the background colder, I can see more detail in my hand. Isn't that cool? Okay, so I think that's good enough. Um, the best thing, how do you get the, how do you get the camera, how do you get the images out of the camera? The best thing is to just take the card out and use your card reader. Um, what other questions do, are there? You can change, let's see, did I miss it? I would definitely use a tripod. Um, you can get really good pictures that way. There is, uh, you can change the lens. So to, if you want to change to a different lens, this button right here, it's just like a DSLR. Push that button, rotate the lens, and you can change it. Uh, but that's it. You should be and have enough to at least get started taking some awesome pictures. All right, talk to you guys later.